Hey friends, so coming up, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about what it's like to lose a loved one from addiction. So I hope you'll hang out and don't forget, if you like this channel, just hit the subscribe button. So in an instant, 20 years of crazy and chaos suddenly stopped. Today is the five year anniversary of my brother Casey's death. He lost the battle with alcoholism and my dad found him dead in a recovery house in 2015. It was an Oxford house and he was surrounded by his books because he was studying to become a drug and alcohol counselor. And he was close to getting where he needed to be, but he just couldn't make it. And I think he would have made a darn good drug and alcohol counselor if he could have just stopped. Anyway, by the time my dad found him, he was already turning blue, but my dad tried to do CPR, of course, because it was his son, uh, but it was too late. And I'm sorry if the details are super depressing. Uh, I, I think that they are too. And after his death, you know, I tried to go to one of those grief support groups, only it ended up kind of making me feel worse and not better. Not the kind of, you know, things have to get worse before they get better, just worse because they wanted us to talk about you know the funeral and what that was like and people that die like my brother don't usually have funerals and you know they wanted to talk about what it's like when you have to go through your loved one's stuff and the emotions that come from that and people that die like my brother don't usually have a lot of stuff right he was homeless a lot and then nobody really knows what to say right because after all, it's not like he lived a long, good life, and after all, he kind of did it to himself, right? And yeah, I guess in a lot of ways that's true. So today I will call my mom and try to comfort her and make her feel better because his death was so close to Mother's Day and, and maybe I'll send her flowers. And dad, of course, won't want to talk about it, except for that weird thing where we have a jar full of his ashes and it's sitting by his picture. And every year we talk about going somewhere pretty and spreading the ashes around, only it never happens. So I'll do that and then I'll just go about my day and pretend like everything's fine. And actually it is fine and everything is gonna be fine because yes, he is in a better place and yes, he is with the Lord and yes, he's happier now, but it still hurts and there's still guilt because I wish I could have done more. And there's still that pain that just comes in and it starts at the bottom of your gut and it just moves its way all the way up into your throat and then it just kind of sets behind your eyes. You know what I'm talking about? And that's usually where it stops. It kind of stops before the tears flow. But listen, if you've lost a loved one to addiction, I want you to know that I understand. I know your pain. In fact, Tim, on Facebook says, I'm so sorry, it's so hard to lose someone. He said, I lost my, my brother, Steve, which is interesting because that's my dad's name. He says, uh, to the disease 25 years ago on Mother's Day. He didn't show up at mom's as planned. Of course, she was worried. And her and my stepfather went to his apartment where they found him gone. Happy Mother's Day, right? And so that's what it's like. And it's, it's hard, it's hard. And there's just no um, way of making it better. It just takes time. But you know what, if you struggle with addiction, as long as you are still alive, it is never too late to get help. God has blessed me with 14 years of amazing sobriety. And my husband has like 17 years of sobriety. And so together we have a great life and it can change and it can get better, but it may not get better for those people in your family. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you about that. And if you have any questions about addiction and family dynamics, I've seen it all. <laughs> so if I get any questions, I'll be answering those questions in my next video and check out my blog too for more recovery stuff. It's genuinelifeblog.com or you can find me on um, Facebook, Jody Stevens on Facebook, Genuine Life on Facebook. 
Genuine Life with Jody Stevens on Facebook and then also um, jodystevens.org. Thanks for watching. God bless you.